The rotating tool shows its full potential when you use it with the modifier keys, like the Alt key or Option if you're on a Mac, and with the Transform Again command. Let's take a look at the one scenario when the rotate tool really shows what it's worth. I got the sun illustration right here, but as you can see, it's lacking quite a lot of rays, but we can fix this problem with the rotate tool. Those of you who have seen my classes on flat design icons, well, you probably know what is going to happen in a second, but if you haven't, and especially if you are completely new to Illustrator, this simple technique is going to save you a lot of headaches. What we want to achieve here is to rotate this single ray copy it at the same time and let Illustrator do all the heavy lifting for us and count the right distance between the rays and the right amount of the rays we need. So with the single ray selected, I'm going to grab the Rotate tool and this time I'm going to Alt click, not just click, somewhere in the middle of the sun. Now notice that as soon as I do that, a new dialog box pops up with some different options I can set. And let me tell you, this is where the fun begins. Now, as I mentioned a few seconds ago, we want to let Illustrator do all the heavy lifting for us. We want it to count the right distance between the rays and to distribute them proportionately. Now, the rotation is going to happen in relation to the center point we roughly put in the middle of the sun. So it is logical that we want the rotation to happen elliptically, like the rays are distributed on a circle. For a ray to rotate fully in relation to a circle, it would have to travel 360 degrees, right? So that's what I'm going to type in. Let's assume that we want to have 20 rays in total. What we have to do is to divide the 360 degrees by the amount of copies we need. So that is what I will type in, 360 divided by 20. And I will hit the tab, not the enter or return if you're on a Mac. Because I don't just want to rotate the ray by the angle a value an Illustrator is calculating for me, I want to rotate it and copy it at the same time. So instead of hitting OK, I will hit copy. And as you can see, what I get is an exact copy of the ray rotated by the value Illustrator calculated for me. All we have to do is to repeat the last transformation, either by going to the object menu, transform, and then transform again, or even better, by hitting Ctrl D or Command D if you're on a Mac. And I'm going to do that until I get all the rays I need. And even just for kicks, if we enter a crazy amount of rays, for instance 49, Illustrator is still going to count everything for us and we can play around with the artistic effects all day long. So remember that in order to invoke the Rotate Tool dialog box, you need to, of course with the Rotate Tool selected, Alt click on the artboard to establish the reference point and then just divide 360 by the amount of rays or any objects you are rotating you want to ultimately have. So these are the most practical ways of using the rotate tool. In the next video we will talk about its sibling, the reflect tool.